<clears throat> Hello and welcome to BCA Sports. I am Jay Miller and you are looking down at AZF Rink where our final telecast, our final broadcast of Brockton Boxers Hockey is upon us. A spirited season. We'll be joined momentarily by Athletic Director Kevin, Kevin Cairo, who adds much color to the proceedings. So, coming off of last game's thrilling tie, normally those two words don't go together, but with only 12 seconds remaining, and yes, uh, their the last matchup against a fellow, a, a another Bay State League team, oh. Natick, uh, they are now face the Walpole Rebels. Kevin, welcome aboard. Thanks for joining us today. Good to be here. And we're going to keep an eye today on what, Kevin? I think to see if they can keep the momentum from their last... 12 seconds, see if it carries over <laughs> into today. And also it's um, Coach Cunningham's last game. I think oh. he's going to step down at the end of the year. He sent me a text this morning saying, you know, after, um, you know, just kind of taking a look at where he is. Oh, boy. And so well, this, Ryan this Spano is, tested is, early. Yeah, this is Chris's uh, last game as our varsity coach. He's so, done a heck of a job, oh Kevin. God. He's been, I mean. He, Keeping the program alive. And he's been here, I didn't realize, 17 years. 17 years. Se nine is the head coach, uh, but 17 years in the program between playing and being an assistant coach. And, and um, no, and he's got to, those are some big shoes to fill, I'm going to tell you right now. Now, yeah, it'll be a tough job for you. So how does that process work? Um, well, once, once Chris officially Puck goes out of play. Um, steps down. We do a job ad, and anybody that's in the system that's a school teacher would get, um, you know, first priority. But depending on what kind of experience they have and um, things of that nature, and if nobody applies, then we go outside. Okay. All right, fair enough. Yeah, but this, I was kind of caught off guard this morning when I got the text from Chris, but uh, you know, he said it's the right time for him, and... Hopefully we can end on a high note for him. That would be great. And another thing you had mentioned during the classic, the instant classic Natick game that went down is Walpole's puck movement along the boards. Yep. And we'll see if, we'll see if uh, it's there today because I remember the last time, the last couple times we've played, it's just something that really stood out. Mm -hmm. Now, the head coach, Ronnie Dowd, I played with and against in baseball for a number of years. Ronnie Dowd, we nicknamed him Punky. <laughs> so if this ever goes up to YouTube, hi, Punky. <laughs> is, is he also the athletic director over there? I think he is. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, good athlete. Good athlete, Which and obviously honestly, he's got a shot. I, I don't know how anybody is a varsity head coach and an AD at the same time. I mean, it is... I've, I've known people that have done it. Uh, Kevin Mackin over in Weymouth uh, did it for a number of years. Danny Buron over at Bridgewater a &M. I mean, he's oh, a football goodness. coach. And, <laughs> and he referees games too, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Buron does it all. All right. To the action. So we have, uh, you had mentioned the <clears throat> excellent new uniforms that Brockton displays, the Vegas Knights <laughs> style. Yeah. And it looks like we have a little Edmonton, Edmonton Oilers. Edmonton Oilers, ah. yeah. So we got a little bit of the NHL, uh, the Western Conference. <laughs> yes, and the, the Bruins uh, had another spirited victory the other night against oh, yeah, those same Golden see. Knights. Vegas Golden Knights. Did they Knights. win again? They the won Bruins? again. Did they really? They won again. They probably shouldn't have, but they played hard enough, and they get it to a shootout. And anything could happen in a shootout where – was proven last night, David Backus scored the game-winning wow. uh, shootout goal. And uh, <laughs> who did they just pick up? They picked up Charlie Coyle. Charlie Coyle, local guy. From Weymouth. Uh, yeah, yeah, Weymouth guy, and then moved. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, had to give up a piece, and Ryan Donato. So, uh, hey, you got to get something to get something. Yep. 
So both teams feeling each other out. Uh, tip goes wide. Yeah, Bur Birmingham and Bridges yeah, under the... It looks uh, like we have a few more people on the bench today. Uh, our JV game that was scheduled for this morning was um, canceled. Okay. Because of the game today, and uh, I think that OA didn't have enough kids because they have a game later on, so... Looks Beautiful. like we have a full bench. Yeah, looks like you're almost matched up with Walpole there. Yeah, not bad. How many? How many did uh, did Coach Cunningham normally carry? Well, uh, eighteen's the the ideal number. Yeah. But I mean, I think this year he thinks. With, I think we had 14, 15. 14 to fifteen. Yeah. yeah. So mix and match, and I'll tell you, this is the first year been doing this uh, off and on, doing announcing some of these games. This is the first year I've seen consistently through the season. Uh, even if they got down early, they fought. They kept yeah. fighting through the whole game. Yep. So uh, Nathan L. Shammy goes into the box for two minutes. So Walpole will go on the power play. Massaro, the the key faceoff, I guess, player on the Brockton team. When they need a key faceoff, they go to Dominic. Yep. Massaro. This is where they need to clear the zone. They don't want to give them time to set up. And somebody just lost a stick. Clever, clever move by the Walpole player, knocking the stick out of the way. Sylvia playing the puck without stick. This is basically a five on three without the stick. Oh, good, good position. Oh, oh he just couldn't get it out. Clear it. Have That's unfortunate. Sylvia gets a stick back. Oh, good pass. Oh, one timer. Good connect. Tried the one time. I tried the Ovi. Oh, goodness gracious! Oh they my can't goodness! It's clear it up. Oh, oh, there oh, they do. <laughs> All good things. It's like Velcro was on that puck. <laughs> and that was Peter Sylvia hustling, grinding, doing whatever he had to do, and he did it. Nice oh, save good, up top. No rebound. Spano has looked good. He has looked good since relieving Dominic Massaro a few games ago. He has been outstanding in net, which is a good sign for the boxers going into the upcoming season. So, did you know if uh, Coach Cunningham has let the players know? Yeah, he told them yesterday at the end of practice. He said, "Well." And you know so what? Hopefully, that might... that's a little motivation to. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, that's a great Blocks. block. That's great a great block by Ben Martin. Yeah. He felt that one. But like all Brockton boxes, he'll be right back out there. Winding down on this power play. 15 seconds left for Walpole. Oh, Ooh, tip. good tip in front, but it goes wide. Oh. So it went around, and the penalty is up. Oh. Brockton is at full strength. El Shami out of the box. Got to put a shot on net. Let it go. Oh, Ooh, tipped tip. wide. Oh. El Shami oh. rushes the net. That was it's blocked. Good little flurry. Good timing, good flurry. Spano gets a piece of it, steers it away. That's a good body check by Jalen Bridges, peppering him. Back to the point for Walpole. Uh, Shot hits a number of players. <coughs> and we have oh, we got a, a line little change. bit of a line change. Brockton with fresh legs out there. You have Kate O'Connell, Mr. Palermo out there. Oh, oh point blank save by Spano. Oh, they just let him. Let him waltz right in there. The net. Yeah, he fell asleep. They fell asleep there for a second, but fortunately, Spotto was right on top of it. The puck is cleared. That's going to be an ice. And an ice. Wow, so that is big news. Uh, you have a coach who comes in here for a long time, lays a foundation. Um, what do you... What do you do as far as the hiring process goes? Who's involved in that hiring process? Um, that will be the principal, Dr. Murray, and myself. Um, 
Anytime there's a varsity position, the two of us sit and we talk and, you know, there's a lot of things that come into play. I mean, we talk about experience and um, coaching style, what their practices will look like, how they communicate with parents, uh, what they do for community involvement. I mean, so there's a lot of things that go into it. And um, like I said, these are going to be huge shoes to fill. Mm. Yeah, he's done a heck of a job, but uh, good uh, for him. Good for, you know, it's, it's again, another uh, step in the building block of a strong long-term program. Yeah, but, but Chris just gets the most out of these kids every single year. They may not be the most talented, but like you said earlier, I mean, they work hard. They never give up, and that's, that, you know, that's a testament to him. Absolutely, yeah. If you like your coach and you want to yep. impress your coach, you respect your coach. I don't, know, I don't know about like, but respect. Yeah. Um, and, oh, you know, but I think they genuinely like him. If you talk to kids, are very complimentary of him. Uh, even the kids that don't play as much. I mean, they, there's, there's really no bad words that I've heard in the three years I've been up here. Three years out, huh, Kevin? Three. We're closing in on year three. Wow. All right, Walpole on the break. Oh, don't let him. Oh, waltzing in. Oh, just missed it. Went off a of Birmingham skate. Fortunately, no damage Lucky done. Lucky break. But don't let him walk in. Oh, All that's right. it. Birmingham with good go. defense. Good stick. El Shami clears it out. The only real threat so far from El Shami uh, after he came out of the oh, box. Wrap around. Trying to wrap around, but no dice. Good defense. Spano shut him off at the pass. Yeah. And there's Peyton Bridges. We got icing with again. Ice. Mm. This is just part of the triple header today at Brockton High. Yeah, you're a busy <laughs> day today, huh? So this is yeah. game one, and then games yeah. two and three. Got it all covered. So you got hockey, and then girls hoop, and then boys hoop. And then we officially shut our... Uh, oh, what oh. a save by Spano. Oh, oh another he's great over. pad save. Spano is on top of his game. Sylvia. Tournament pairings to come out. Yeah, tournament pairings are Friday. Yep, they'll be out tomorrow. Friday, the 22nd. Second. So my guess is first game will be Tuesday. Tuesday it is. Okay, Tuesday. All That's right. my guess. Yeah, any home games possible? or? Yeah, anything's possible. It depends on how we finish up tonight. Okay, it's all about the tonight. The boys are 11 and 8. Eight, and the girls, I believe, are 11 and 8. Oh, okay. Two solid seasons. As Brockton has control, well, temporarily had control on the puck. That's offsides. Offsides is called. Kevin, you do it all. You announce, <laughs> you athletic direct, and you make calls oh, on the Oh, I ice. enjoy doing this. I really do. <laughs> Walpole right off the faceoff. Oh, Shot, nice. Spano up high. Yeah, they've, 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 been, they've been trying to go up high on him. Yeah, I wonder. They're trying uh, to beat him top shelf. I mean, he has a tendency to go butterfly. Yep. And I just think that they're trying to find that open space above one of the shoulders, but he's been he's been really good. Yeah, he's been soft so far. We're uh, oh, we're ten minutes into this first period, five minutes remaining, no score. And oh. Walpole regains oh, the puck and yeah. scores. Ah, he just, they let him kind of waltz right in front of the net. Yeah, Spano didn't have much of a chance there. No, he was screened and they went. Right yeah, over right that over, right shoulder. Right over the right shoulder. He did go low. And that goal was by Captain Ryan Boyhagen. Number good 13. Ar good Armenian kid. There you go. Yeah, they have a mix of uh, some different ethnic groups across both rosters. As Peyton Sylvia goes back, clears the puck. Oh, Bridges, little oh, God. 
And the puck, puck goes out of play. Uh, one player I want to point out is uh, Steve Stephen Westerkin's getting some play in time yeah, today. Yeah, he's a freshman. And he's a freshman. Yep, oh, Stephen's right. a freshman. Yep. Number seven in your school book. Stephen Westerkin, freshman. Somebody to look out for. As the puck is out, retrieved by Walpole. And there goes another turnover. Oh, the give and go. Ooh. Oh, he was standing on the doorstep, but the puck went wide. Birmingham back to retrieve it, trying to get it out. Up to Martin. Walpole gains control. Sylvia banging into the corner. It's Peyton's place, as if you don't remember. Peyton Sylvia, that's where he occupies, and that's where he dominates. El Shami gets it out and dumped right back in. Walpole going for a line change. Oh. And again, what you were talking about earlier, Kevin, up along the boards. Up along the boards. Brockton's done a nice job of, more of slowing it down a little bit. But it's definitely a weapon they have in their arsenal. As there they go, dump a chase. And in they do. Oh, Puck right out in front. front. Steered away by Bridges. Kept in by Walpole. And there's the young freshman we were talking about, Stephen Westerkin. Solid on defense for this period, getting a lot of PT as the puck is cleared and... And we got another icing. With 240 remaining in the first period, no score. So, well, we actually, we do have a score. It's one nothing. <laughs> Kevin, this is why you're here. Is this microphone on? And, oh, my goodness gracious. And I was even going to say, <laughs> maybe he knows something that I don't. <laughs> yeah, we'll who, take, who am I to argue? We're going to take that <laughs> off. The, Walpole does have a goal. Uh, but Brockton is playing solid so far. Staying fairly disciplined. Uh. As the puck hits the ceiling. And the puck went off a Brockton, a Brockton boxer. So a faceoff is in the boxer's end. Oh. Nice save, Spano. Stayed low, stayed with it, steered away. Massaro on the forecheck. Oh. oh. And another goal. That's just a defensive. Similar spot, Kevin. Yep. Uh, Should have had that one, but. Oh, still they, a tough one. They, should, they shouldn't have gotten the puck. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So we are approaching two minutes in the first period. Walpole takes a 2-0 lead. Massaro on the faceoff. Go by number 16, Connor Foley, one of the co-captains, along with the assist by Ryan Bohagian. So Mr. Bohagian's got off to a nice start today with a goal and an assist for the Walpole Rebels. Walpole keeps the puck in. Good body check by Sylvia. Palermo has it, trying to get it up to Sylvia, but Sylvia had to get back on side. Wall pulled back to retrieve it. We're approaching one minute left in the first period. And that will be an icing. So an opportunity here for Brockton going down to the wall pull end. Yeah, they've got, to, they've got to put something in the net. You know what, get some pressure going. Yeah, You're they exactly just have a little momentum going into the break. and. They're Keeping just, the puck they in there. They haven't looked sharp, I have to say. They have not looked sharp. They've, 
I oh. mean, just little mistakes here and there, and they just well, add they, up. They get magnified, especially when there's a goal scored. As we have one minute left in the period, El Shami fights for the puck. Spano covers it up. The so faceoff will be to the left of Spano. Walpole has made a decision to go high. They've seen that uh, Ryan likes to go down. Get down on those See if pads. He's just going to drop the puck. Yes, he does. Hey, and they drop the puck. Look at that. <laughs> Small miracles. Oh, and we have Walpole on the attack. Shot wide. They're right on top of it, though. They're hustling. They're battling. And have to get that puck out. Going the wrong way, but... Back to Sylvia. Sylvia tries to wind it around. Martin. Had to get away with a little, uh. little chop there, but play as it goes on. Oh, that's that one. Uh oh. Puck out. Oh, you gotta go. You gotta put moves. some pressure on there. Shot blocked. And they're just kind of sitting and waiting for the action to come to them. Not as as. All right. Well. All right. They got through it. They uh, got through it. Yeah, they didn't. They had not a particularly solid period from Brockton. A uh, little, little slow. Missed yeah. a couple of passes. Um, let's see what happens in the second period. All right. But after one period of play, the Walpole Rebels will lead the Brockton Boxers to nothing. Now, stay tuned for more important information. And then the start of the second period. Hey! There are amazing things to discover in the forest. Toothless, time to go! <laughs> What you picking up on, bud? It's a whole hidden world of wonders and the perfect place to spend time with family. What better place to let your imagination soar, experience nature, and create a memory you can share? Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest or park near you. We are back for second period action. After one period, the Brockton Boxers are down to the Walpole Rebels 2-0. I'm here with color commentator Kevin Cairo. Kevin, sluggish first period for the Boxers. Yeah, very sluggish. Um, so hopefully they rebound. They're only chasing two, which is a good thing. It could have been a lot worse. Indeed, Jalen Bridges racing. Oh, racing through. Dodging defenders, putting it towards the net. I'll just need to try to score one quick here. Get something on net. Oh, that's not going to work. Yeah, th this struggle today has been puck possession, no doubt yeah. about it. Pass off steered away. Oh, oh, look out. Good job, good job by Bridges. Oh, it's offside. And an offside. So we haven't called his name yet, but Jack Curran is in net for Walpole today. Pretty quiet day for him so far. Yeah. Let's see if Brockton can change that up. We have Massaro on the faceoff along with Peter Sylvia and Mr. Palermo. I call him Mr. Palermo because he means business. Walpole with puck behind the net. With the long flowing hair coming out of the <laughs> back of the helmet. I have yeah. to say I'm a little jealous. <laughs> yeah, maybe a, mil a little mullet? I don't know. We're going really old school. That would be, be the trip. That's a trend that I hope never comes back. <laughs> did you have one? Did you have one? Of course one? I did. Oh, yeah, we all had mullets. Mullet, earring. Earring? Okay. Oh, God. What about a uh, mohawk? Oh, oh, and a goal. Tip. That nope. one was tipped. Yep, that was tipped. And, again, too much territory out in front, Kevin. They're, yeah. they're just giving up way too much space. And they're not attacking the uh, the person with the puck. Therefore, they're able to skate right in, and there's a result. So Walpole goes up with a quick goal here, only uh, less than a minute and a half into the second period. Walpole rebels three. The Brockton Boxers nothing. Yeah, no Mohawk. No, 
No Mohawk? Yeah, I did the Mohawk. No and Mohawk. Threw right back in. I did it. It's oh, over. No. And another rush. Spano steers it away. And the call is face off to the right of Spano. With the bra uh, but the box is down three nothing, Kevin. This is critical. The next goal has to be has to be scored. Yeah, by they Brock. can't give up another one. I mean, they've had very few chances in the offensive zone. So hopefully, they can just catch a break. Sometimes that's all you need. Just have the puck bounce, get a lucky bounce, get a lucky break, get on the board, and then just try to get some momentum back. Walpole offside. Tried to slap the puck back into the offensive zone to no avail. I don't quite understand why, the unless it was a hand pass. I don't know why offsides would be down at this end, but. I don't know either. I'm guessing hand pass. It did look like he made the motion for hand pass, and here we oh, go. Oh, see, that's just got to shoot. Birmingham, it. Birmingham again. Oh, oh, what a that was by him, and he went reached back and took that right out of the air. Yeah, nice save by Curran, but a sign of life. We like yep. Birmingham putting it on the net, and more of that will. Yeah, you got to put the puck on net. Good things happen. I heard that. I heard that once, or twice. Remember, 100% of the shots you don't take don't go in. <laughs> I forgot that. Now I remember. Thank you, Kevin. Well, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> ben Martin racing, trying to get that puck. Walpole winds it up. Nifty little move. Stopped by Bridges. Stone Cold. And Brockton's able to get it out of the zone. This looks like they're reaching a little bit too. So when you're reaching, you're not skating. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, they just ran Collision into each other. Collision by two players. <laughs> El Shami behind the net. Ah, Come. there we go. He carries the puck up. Oh. Semblance of a, a, a breakout as Peyton Sylvia comes winding down the right. Oh, he's stone cold stopped. Sylvia right back in there. They keep the puck in the net. Good work. Oh, and they're saying hand pass. It's nice to have the music back today too, man. Yeah. Yeah, it was very quiet in here on Tuesday. <laughs> Face off will be to the left of Spano. And Massaro coming up on the wing. Come on, ooh. It's down on the Brockton end. Battle for it. Massaro grinding in the corner. Pucks back out. Blocked. Another shot tipped. Birmingham then mixing it up. Massaro, long shift for Brockton on this one. See if they can get the puck out and get a line change. And when the play's in your zone, this is this is the result. Not much. Oh, they just can't. They just can't seem to get anything going. Right, here we go. Come on, gotta put it on net. Don't try to do anything too oh, crazy. Oh, good luck. Good luck. Just he couldn't reach Masaro. Excellent idea by Sylvia. Just a little too long. Walpole back on the offense. Puck goes into the corner. And Teed this might up. be the opportunity for a line change. No, it is not. Nope. 
Can't get it deep enough into the zone. Kate O'Connell is now out there. And the change has been made. Walpole retrieves the puck, starts it up. Krushinik on the four check. Oh, oh no. and another goal by Walpole. Not much to that one, just put a shot. He had the right wing, put the shot on. Spano couldn't handle mm -hmm. it. And we are now at four, nothing, Walpole with 9.20 left in the second period. They just have no answers right now, Kevin. They really don't. And let's see how they react. Good steal. Bridges shoot. Oh. Ooh. Gobbled up. Excellent shot by Bridges. Yep. Nice save. That goal was by Connor Foley, one of the co-captains. The co-captains are carrying the team today. Connor Foley and Ryan Bohangian have accounted for several points. Oh, look out. Always dangerous when they go down like that. Oh. Oh, my goodness, and they wind it up. Oh, two on one. They got a good block. All right, let's see if they can do something here. Got to right. put this on net. Sylvia going in the net. Oh, Ooh. good shot. That's nice That's a save. good shot. I'd rather yeah. have them put the puck than pass it across the front for that low percentage give and go. That's it. Put it on the net, see what happens, yeah. see if you can get a rebound. Or you can get it by him. And that is Bridges on the face-off. Shot did not get through. Ben Martin after it, trying to keep the puck in. Martin trying to kick it into the corner. Walpole gains control. Sylvia keeps it in. Oh. And Walpole breaks out. Nice job by Birmingham, good positioning. Sylvia back to retrieve it. Ooh, he's just knocked down. Brockton furiously trying to get the puck out from their zone. Walpole just beating him to the punch. Seems to be the story of the game here. Yeah, the, the hustle is definitely there for Walpole. Uh, just one step quicker today. When we do this upgrade, Kevin, one day for this fine facility, we'd love <laughs> to get a, a nice little catwalk. Yeah. Something up high, you know, so we can see. So we can get a better picture of the, the ice. We're caught in a kind of a weird spot here but um yeah there really isn't a yeah it's I mean, tough it's tough it's just the ceiling's so low in here it is that's the, that's yeah. the one of the drawbacks you have yeah you were talking about opening that ceiling up sure just, yeah let's do it we'll start tomorrow i'll meet you there <laughs> As Brockton winds it up, over to Martin. Martin kicks it in. It's it's fine to dump it in, but they don't have people going following the puck, so oh. that makes it a problem. El Shami, why? And a cover up. So face off. We'll be to the right of Curran.
Bridges with the face off again. And the puck is out. Bridges working to get it to keep it in. As Walpole comes on the rush. Oh, just letting him walk in. The puck is just laying there way too long. And as a result, Walpole is with their hustle and effort. They're getting to it and creating chances. Curran has to play it. Oh, it's a good opportunity, Sylvia. but just can't get a handle on the puck. Sylvia kicks it back in. Walpole regroups. Gets could, it out. Oh, that could have been too many men on the ice that they let yes. go. Yes. Yes, Mr. Sylvia was out there a tad too early. And I think the puck hit him. <laughs> and the puck did hit him. It did appear. Covered up by Spano, so there'll be a face-off to the right of him with 5.22 left to go in the second period. Walpole leads Brockton for nothing. And the puck is wheeled but not out. Good body check, Birmingham has it. Kicks it up to Sylvia. Delayed offside, back to Birmingham. Skates it out. Mr. Palermo has it. Oh, nifty Nif little move. Nifty there move. we go. Oh, we're offside. Oh, my goodness, an offside. Well, Palermo showing a little, hmm, some definite skills there. We've seen it from him here and there. Yep. And he's getting more playing time as the season's going along. Are you a good ice skater? Haven't been on skates in about 25 years. I used to be, honestly, if I was, um, if I were to do it all over again, I would have played hockey. It was my best sport. Really? Yeah. And it came down to either basketball or hockey and I like my sleep, and I didn't want to go to 5 o'clock practice <laughs> over at the Rockland Rink. That is pure logic right there. Yeah. Oh, my brother was a hockey player, and uh, oh, you know, really? we, we would go down to the and skate on the pond all oh. And that is a goal. Yeah, and I would get to play with all the older kids in the neighborhood, so I got to, I got to be pretty good. Would you go pond hockey? or Pond hockey, yep. That's it. Beautiful. So you haven't been on them. How come? Good question. Well, I moved to Texas, mm. went to school down there, moved down there, and I just yeah. didn't didn't skate. Life, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, they do have they do have open skate here. I do, I, I, have, I, I, I don't know a, if you knew that. I still have my skates. Oh, you still have them? <laughs> okay. Still have them. Oh yeah, I'm sure the shop shop is a oh yeah <laughs> shop is a tech. <laughs> I don't know if they could. Go through a <laughs> stick of butter. <laughs> so it's all. And they sharpen skates here too. Well, I believe. Maybe next year. That that'll be on my list of things to do. Ah, the bucket list. Okay. Oh my, Swiss cheese. Oh boy. Well, Walpole has just turned it up a notch, kid. They've kept the pace going. They've had the momentum throughout. Oh. And. We have Sylvia on the attack. Uh, Sylvia showing some gumption. He can't do it alone. Oh, a nice pass. Over to O'Connell, couldn't quite connect. They keep it in though. Oh, we got the brothers out there. We've got Peter and Peyton Sylvia. Nice job, nice job by Peyton. Fight for the puck. He needs some help, and there it is. O'Connell to the rescue. Good work by Brockton. Palermo going for the puck. Oh, giving everything he's got. Walpole back on the attack. Spano is seeing 
All different angles today. <laughs> he sure, I mean, they, they keep going high on him. Yeah. They keep going high, and he's a little, I think he, they got to and him a little I, and bit. And I think that seeing 50 shots the other day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, it had to be close to 50. Uh, little, oh, I'd say 50. We counted at least 20 in that first period. First period, right. And that was one of the more entertaining third periods. I mean, oh, they, that was so good. It was just impressive. And you, you, you told, uh, we didn't know, but Natick was, with the tie, was bounced from the tournament. By one point. Yeah. So all they needed this was those 12 seconds. And the reaction, I guess we, we didn't know at the time, but we were surprised by the reaction. You never want a tie. Um, you always want to win, but having said that, we didn't understand the magnitude. And uh, oh, nice shot! Nice shot by Sylvia. Like I said, karma sometimes can come back to bite you. And when that kid from Natick <laughs> went by the bench, held yeah. up his hand and taunted the Brockton which he, which, players. Yeah, which should have been a penalty, yep. but they let it go. And like you said, what comes around goes around. Yep. Just under two minutes left in the second period with Walpole up 5 nothing. I'm Jay Miller along with Kevin Cairo. And, of course, who else on camera? The postman. The postman. Oh, nice save by Spano. Juicy rebound. Oh, hey, oh they got it's a one. goal. Just like that. Hello, hello. All right. Nathan L. Shammy. Oh, they should them. not be playing. Please don't play ole, ole, ole. Not when it's it's too late, to Kevin. Not when it's you have a lot one. of juice in this place, but no. not that much. Oh, no, ole, ole. <laughs> if we get close, 5 3, maybe. <laughs> but 5 We one. need everything we need now. We need everything we can get now. It's 5 1. All right. Walpole. No goose egg. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. And you know what? You put you another one on the board. You put another one on the board, and things can get a little bit interesting. Great job by Jalen Bridges along the boards. Mixing it up. And an offside. They're calling out offsides. I believe Like they so. should be. Like they should be. So it's interesting, you know, I, I, a play along the boards and the puck moving along the boards. I don't, I don't know if uh, they get away from that a little bit. They've been doing yeah. it. No, but it looks I, have, like I haven't seen it as much in the past no. couple of years. I have not. I mean, it used to be give go yeah and it's uh, I guess it's you know what kind of talent do you have on the team and as a coach you know what do you do with to optimize the, the oh, talent and, the, that you and have? the other thing that you have to keep in the back of your head is with tournament starting next week you may not want to give too many of your secrets even you have coaches I'm sure that are here scouting from other teams that may match up I know that uh, there'll be teams coming to scout our girls and boys tonight so you don't want to give away too many of uh too many of your secrets it's a good point kevin birmingham has it and walpole retrieves good for checking done by sylvia oh the other sylvia Looks like they settled things down here a bit. We have, we are winding down here in the second period. Oh, the puck is behind the net. Oh, out in front. Let's just get through the end of the period, but no damage. The, there we they've go. had, well, Walpole is up 5-1. However, your Brockton box has put one up on the board late. And we'll have a third period, no doubt about it. Hopefully it will go well for the boxers. We will be right back with third period action. But first, <laughs> stay tuned for this important message. You can't sit Don't here. Don't add her to the chain. It was just a joke. Why are you talking to me? Lame. Loser. Weirdo. 
I've said and done things before that I'm not proud of. Just as I've been hurt by others. The thing is, this, this is not who I am. And it's definitely not who I want to be. I don't want to be cruel. I don't want to spread gossip. I don't want to be a body shamer. We have the power to be more. We can create a kinder world. It's not that hard. We just need to stop. Take a moment. And consider others before we speak. And before we act. Be more. Be more. Be more. We are back for third period action here at AZF Rink with a score after two periods. The beginning of the third period is five to one. Walpole Revels leading your Brockton Boxers. Kevin Cairo has joined us for the first two periods. We expect him back. But as athletic director, he is a busy man. And today is a busy day for him. Icing is called. Walpole does not agree with that call, but we move on. Face-off will be to the right of Walpole goaltender, Jack Curran. Walpole tries to carry it out. Brockton keeps in play. Ooh, shot. Ooh. Tricky shot put through. But Curran makes the save. Brockton scoring their own goal late in the second period. Hopefully they can build off that through the third period and make a game of it. Sylvia loses control of the puck, gets it back. He dumps it right back in. Brockton showed more life in the second period as the period went along. Showed a little more hustle. Uh, skating as opposed to reaching. Not sure what happened there, but Birmingham has it. Bad with a Sylvia. El Shami tries to get it out. Spano steers it away. Over to Ben Martin. Martin clears it out. Over to Bridges. Bridges tries to do something with it, but Walpole gains control of the puck. Sylvia staying with the skater. More aggressive forechecking this period right out of the gate from Brockton. And the puck is steered in. Moved out by Walpole. Under the, under the stick of Birmingham. Goes back to retrieve it along with Massaro. Shot, saves Bono. Right in the bread basket. Looked like it was going wide, but he wanted to make sure. As Massaro and Sylvia team up to try to get the puck out, and they do. With Peter Sylvia getting control, Walpole getting it right back. As Sylvia's in there grinding, Walpole gains the line, dumps it in, and goes for a line change. Back is at Birmingham. Good rate of speed. Pass intercepted. Oh, nifty move. Oh, and it hit pipe. You heard that. Spano gloves it. Make sure of it and hold on. We're three minutes into this third period. And to reflect back on the season, there were some highs, no question about it. Uh, we talked about it earlier, the consistency of effort, game after game. Uh, good compete level for the most part through the entire season. They've run into some teams that, frankly, are just uh, have a little more skill, a little deeper as far as the number of players they have on their bench. And uh, they've done a fine job. It was revealed to us, hot news, that coach Chris Cunningham will be stepping down 
after 17 years within the program. Bittersweet time. Uh, Coach Campbell was a player and had been involved in the hockey program here in Brockton for 17 years. Quite a run. Nine is the head coach. He's done a great job for the program and hopefully the person coming in to replace him will build off that foundation that Coach Cunningham and his players have established. Not an easy thing being a varsity coach of any high school sport. All sorts of challenges. You're a coach, you're a mentor, you're a teacher. A shot and a goal. So the score is now a six to one Walpole. That goal was buried by number five, Dan Savari. With 10 and a half minutes left in the third period. Jalen Bridges has it. Puts it towards the net. Steered away by Curran. As the puck goes down to the end of the ice, and it is an icing. We have Massaro, their de facto key. He's basically the de facto face-off man, him and Bridges. And they do a fine job at it. Birmingham, nice little move. As Walpole has it. Slowly moves it up and out. Palermo. Massaro's back for it. Winds it around the boards. It's kept in. And they stonewalled, which is we need to see more of. We needed to see more of that earlier on, but they're doing it now. As out comes Sylvia, Peter Sylvia, shot, blocked. Up off the backboards, it's loose. Play still goes on and play is stopped. You go to the whistle. And the face-off will be to the left of Curran. Walpole breaks it out. Going right around the right boards. Into the corner with Birmingham. Birmingham has it. And Sylvia takes some punishment on that, looking to get it out, taking the body well. Fine assistant captain for your boxers. Sylvia back to retrieve it. And they dump it in. Walpole quickly gains control of the puck. Back to Birmingham. Palermo through the legs. Trying to trick shot there. Didn't have anything on it, but good idea. So face off in the Walpole end. Taken by Massaro. The fight for it, Walpole comes out with it. Skates it up the ice, right into the Brockton zone. Nice save by Spano, left pad. Showing off that left pad, nice job. 
And Seamus Sheehan on the puck. And Sheehan has it. Wraps it around the boards. Not out. And out of play. We have just under eight minutes left in the third period. An uphill battle, no doubt. They need five goals in less than eight minutes. But as they always say, you gotta get one first. Shot put on net, steered away. Long pass, good break up by Walpole. Two on one, oh, hit another post. He called it a goal? Unreal, he called it a goal. That is no goal, that did not go in. Oh! You don't wanna get on the referees, but that was not a goal, folks. We here, we witnessed it, and they're counting it. I don't know how it can make that sound and that ricochet. But it's it. So the goal counts. And we'll stand by for the official announcement on the goal. As it is now. Seven to one. Bridges goes out. He's digging for the puck. And the puck moves around. Walpole has it. Brockton steals it. Sylvia shot. Goes wide. There's battling going on. Sylvia working his magic, doing everything he can to try to get that puck towards the net. Walpole has just been, they've just been a vacuum today. They've gobbled everything up. They've handled their end of the ice. And a nice save by Spano. As he is still getting tested. Still competing. This Rebels team is a big team. They have size, speed, and skill. The three S's that often lead to success. Healthy crowd here today at AZF Frank. One of the largest crowds we've had this season. Shot steered away by Curran. Mr. Palermo tries to get it in, no avail. Sheehan races puck to the puck, but Spano covers it up. Brockton comes in for a line change. We have Kushenik. Kushenik, O'Connell. And Jake Gagier. O'Connell has it, wraps it around the boards. As Birmingham gets it out, and it's dumped right back in. And let's see if Kashuna could do anything with it. Walpole again, the vacuum. They're going into a black hole today, folks. Brockton is. 
Just getting swallowed whole by a team that is just on their game today. Spano gloves it, and they ask him to play. The referees do. He obliges. Back to Sheehan. Turnover. Turnover again. Knocked off the puck by Walpole. They're back to regroup. We are approaching four minutes remaining in the third period. 7-1, Walpole leads. As the puck is dumped in. Walpole goes for a line change. And Sylvia comes out with it. Seeing a man open. Oh, they don't call an offside. We'll take a break. We'll take it. Shot tipped out in front. Oh, the puck is loose. And the puck is out of play. So, again, not, not packing it in. It would be easy to do so, packing in, just wait for the clock to run down, but they're not doing that today. Although the score is not the way they like it. Right up until the final minute, your boxers are representing all of us well. El Shami chasing for the puck. It's in the corner. Back to Sylvia. Sylvia trying to do something with it. Bridges couldn't do much. Puck is back to Sylvia again. Goes right through. Can't get all the way through though. Difficult to get to three skaters to get towards the net. Birmingham in position, waiting for the puck, but Sylvia, shot on that save. And we will have an icing with 2.45 left in the third. Now is as good a time as any to go through the team, the list of players for the 2018-2019 Brockton Boxer Hockey Game. In no particular order, Ryan Spano, Peyton Sylvia, Al Birmingham, Nathan L. Shammy, Jalen Bridges. Ben Martin, Dominic Massaro, Dante Massaro, Brendan Palermo, Mr. Brendan Palermo to you and me. Peter Sylvia, Kyle Krushenik, Jake Gagier, shot goes wide. Kate O'Connell, Ryan Flannery, Jaden Ree, Jack Mahoney, Adam Flynn, Seamus Sheehan, Stephen Westerkin, Kenny Young, and Nathan Petty. That, ladies and gentlemen, is your 2018-2019 Brockton Boxer hockey team. Again, Coach Cunningham, after 17 years within the program as a player, an assistant coach and a head coach, is moving on. He informed his team, his, uh, his team last night after practice. And they've gone out there and they've given it the best they got. Good hit by Sylvia along the boards. Oof. You can feel that one up here. Puck behind the net. Sheehan. Just simply can't get the puck out. They simply cannot get the puck out. Oh, there we go. Going high on Spano again. And we're going to get a penalty called. on Jake Agier for, not sure what. 
we know the hockey signs. We know what the penalties look like when the referee makes the motion. But when he or she does not, we do not know. We can only speculate. So that power play will take Walpole to the end of the game, unless they put another one in the net. Shot, heavy traffic. Why? It goes wide on Spano. We are approaching one minute left in the Brock to Boxing season. The Boxer season is coming to an end. We have a stick down. Walpole. No goal. How did that stay out of the net? Oh, Spano point blank stuffed him. Nice. They're still playing. They're still going at it, folks. Spano, a nice save. I don't know how that puck didn't go in, but it did not. And that's all that matters. The referees want this game to end peacefully, as do we. Bridges tries to break it up. And a shot out in front, save Spano. My goodness, a flurry of saves here to end the game. Walking right to the net, but Spano uses that stick, it steers it aside, brilliant job. Martin winded up for a slap shot to get it out. And eventually does. As time winds down. That'll do it. We have the end of the game, the end of a season. The Brockton Boxers fall to the Walpole Revel 7-1. It was an enjoyable season. The wins did not add up. However, the competitive nature was there. We wish Coach Cunningham nothing but the best. And of course, it goes without saying, the BCA Sports Hockey Broadcast Team was basically three people. Really, the key person was postman Mike Simmons on camera, bringing you all the action. I was happy enough to be here with him for several of the games, along with po uh, Mad Dog Matt Nelson. We split the games this year. You be the judge. Who's better? Who's best? It doesn't matter. We enjoyed the season. We enjoyed bringing BCA hockey, uh, BCA sports, and Brockton Boxers hockey to you. So for all of you out there. Follow basketball as we have several more games ahead of us. Goodbye.